Hello everyone, I'm Crumbs and we're playing Colony Ship, uh, RPG, RPG game in space. How, that's a short description of it. So, what do we have here? Go through the foliage. Okay, we got some frogs over there. Yeah, well, why not? Let's do some fighting. I don't remember if we uh, reloaded before. Let's turn back and just see. That is loaded. Yeah. Yeah, this one is really, really, it does a lot of damage. And I don't think we're going to use that on the frogs. So, well, we, we have uh, given away the other guns to, to Crumbs. And, uh, yeah, Crumbs took his gun. Now, okay, we will have this, but we're probably not going to use it. We'll have to use this one. So we're ready to uh, go through and let's see. You spot some frogs ahead. It's killing time. So let's, yeah, we move back. Come on, there we go. Start combat. So we let them come to us and they use most of their po action points to get toward us, hopefully. So Evans is first. Yeah, you can actually shoot him. Yeah, store by doing that. Oh, nice. Can you finish him off? Uh, yeah, it's six for that one. Out of range. Well, can you, sh you can shoot him. You can shoot that one as well. So let's try and finish him. Bye bye. Now we got a hit there. And can you throw a snapshot on you? Kneecapped. So let's see. You should kill him. Oh, come on. Well, I guess we. Uh, Yeah, we could do that. No, let's do a proper one. Good night. And final shot at him. And hopefully we can kill him in the next round. There we go. And everyone got healed up. So it's just in the first map there when we need to go and heal ourselves. Okay, so what, what do we have here? Can we go here? No, there is stuff there. Okay, so let's climb up the stairs. And climb down the stairs. There's nothing here of interest. Climb down. Whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. That could be interesting. Let's have a look here first. Oh, there was actually a ladder there. So can we go here? Examine the greenhouse unit. Scores of horizontal greenhouse molds cover the walls of the chamber in a colossal honeycomb. The hydroponic lights fail a long time ago, leaving everything to wither and die. But some specimens have adapted to the new environment. A few disturbingly have even come to thrive. Take a closer look. Mistaking your fleeting fleeting interest for an all-out invasion, a startled frog jumps out to defend its home. 
a single frog. Yeah, let's just move back and then and then kill him. Okay, he chew up the crumbs kneecap again and then bite his face. So let's do to the grace there only eight damage. That's 12. Okay, 10 left. Yeah, you have this pistol. Let's just do... You can do several shots here. Come on. That is bad. Yeah, we got 8 left. Okay, but he's gone. And we're healed. So, can we find something else here? You examine the now empty nest and find a small ammo pouch covered with slime. Fortunately, its content is near in mint condition. Okay. Some ammunition there. Okay, what do we have here? What? Dude. That one, yeah, we will definitely have a look at that one. But I think we, uh, we wait. Let's head over here. And I always forget to reload the weapons so let's do all of them nice full loaded that one is well so what do we have here a pepper box and a smoke okay let's loot that let's I guess we're gonna meet some more frogs, so I will put this away. I'll have that. Let's reload. You can actually swap places there. So you have this as a backup for now, and then we uh, use the one when we will meet some real bad boys. So the power is out, and so is this elevator. Someone I've tried to revive it with a portable generator, but clearly given up. The generators still have some use left, so the control board is probably dead. There's a long climb to the top, so maybe it's best to check the board first, just to be sure. Check the control board. The control board is missing, a bunch of safety modules, remote monitoring, acceleration, load compensation, vibration dampening, and electromagnetic shielding. Anti-EM modules in particular fetch, a good price and everything of value has been stripped. Electronics, override safety protocols. Success. A few minutes later, you rewire the control board and bypass every safety feature. Collect your HS is fast and bump your ride to the top, but it's better than climbing. Take a ride. Freed from the safety restraints, the elevator takes off like a rocket. Rusty guide rails screech and groan. Somewhere a metal cable snaps with a loud noise, but instead of plummeting to death, the elevator goes even faster. It's about to slam in the shaft ceiling. Killing you in the process when the emergency stasis field uh, envelops the elevator, halting its interior and dispersing kinetic energy. Must be your lucky day. Crawl out. Okay, so we are up here. Let's. Okay, there was actually a door there. Okay, let's go in. What do we have? Go through the pocket. What's that? Training token. A pre mutiny token authorizing basic training for new maintenance workers. Okay. So, there is some stairs. Is this stairs down? Okay, here's a terminal. Remove parts. Let's examine the terminal. Terminal status screen reads like a wartime death register. Almost everything is flagged hopeless red, meaning offline and non-functional. The few items in dubious yellow have long road between them and system ready green. But one option catches your attention. The terminal can send the currently docked unit to what's left of Tower 3. You could hitch a comfortable ride to your destination instead of risking your health on the ramshackle walkways. Well, we don't have three in computers, so 
I guess we leave it alone. Let's strip this for parts. Um, is this okay? I guess we go here. Okay, what's that? We missed. Yeah, we'll have a look at that one later. So, come on, where are you? Can't we go up here? Or are we? Ah, oh, we are on the long, wrong floor, so we have to go up first. Can we go up now? Yes. The walkway that once connected the towers now hangs awkwardly off kilter. Also, small section of decking is missing. It's not a long jump, but it's a really, really long fall. So, let's jump. Success! You land harder than expected and the walkway judders and sways like living thing as if determined to throw you off but you quickly find your feet right before one of the support cable snaps with a harsh metallic swang a little while later your heart seems to realize you're actually going to live and starts beating again fortunately the rest of the cables hold for now jed stays behind evans follow you keep going Examine the machine. Okay, there are things down there. Here is a box. Under. Let's check out the machine first. Except for the grime and corrosion, this bioreactor seems to be in good condition. The strange translucent worm slithers out from one of the plastic tubes, leaving a trail of glowing sludge behind. And you revise your estimate to pour. Strip it for parts. You don't know much about bioreactors, but you know salvage work. Precision parts are always in demand, so you carefully remove every impeller, aviator, and weld you can find. The stirred motor is dead, but the two sensors are still clinging for life, which is more than you hoped for. So take the parts and leave. Okay, we've got a box here. Maintenance crates. And we got a rope. Okay, let's go down here. Well, there's nothing here. Is this a elevator shaft? Let's go up again and see if we can do, if we can get out of here. We have to try and jump back. No, examine the shaft. Okay, that's why we found the rope, probably. An expressway down, a rope would come in handy. Secure the rope and slide down. And we are down. What do we have here? Electronics. You remove the air purifier parts and gain some electronics knowledge. Okay, squeeze through. Let's... Let's head back here and see what this was. A high-tech network of CEA globes, controlled environment agri agriculture. Each, each globe is designed to act as a contained microbiome, simulating countless combinations of nutrients, acidity or alkalinity in the soil, temperature, and fungi. Plants require fungi in the soil to survive, so developing fungi, fungal strains that would flourish under alien conditions was equally important as cultivating hardy plants. So examine. The plants within are long dead, but one of the compartments in the base of its unit contains an unexpected surprise, a rusty doomsayer shotgun. Now look at that. It does 14 damage. It's got 8 ammo 8. Okay. So should we that 12 to 16. That's 12 to 14. So it does a little less damage but there is more ammo. This one is a real badass because it does 17 damage. Should be useful. 
change that and unload that let's try that out and if it it's crap let's change it back okay so let's go down should we go head over and see and fight these uh, the frogs okay go through uh, it was all over here right I have to go back this way And then we it was over here, I think. We climb down. But is this open? Yeah, okay. Well, let's see if we can survive this. So let's climb down. You reach a large enclosure, once known as simulated environment number two. It's team with life, colorless slugs, string yellowfish, tiny flies hovering. Of the surface and frogs. More frogs than you've ever seen in one place until now. Exterminate. So we got two spitters, three bullfrogs, and one psyker. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. We move crumbs there, and we move Evans there. I think this this could work. Yeah, let's start combat and see if we survive this. Got a nine hit there. Another six. Five. Come on, miss or grace. Five. Not that bad. Yeah, number seven there. And another six. And here comes the spitters. That's five and five. And six. And three. Okay. So we have 14. We could go for this one. Should we do that? Yeah, I think I will. Well, we got him injured and we got the um, shield down. You have four left. I think I will heal. Should I move? No, let's enter. Crumps, you 13. Yeah, you definitely need to heal. And um, you do some shooting here. Ooh, that's a good hit. And another good hit. Can you... You can actually shoot. We could kill him. One down. And I think you will attack him. You have two shots. Okay. One was enough. So let's go for this. Yeah. If we can survive next this turn. Then we have a fair chance I think. And then the spears. Ooh, that was bad. Three is okay. Five is not okay. Come on, stop spitting. Okay, so you are up jet. You could. Yeah, should we. If we kill him, let's do one shot and see how it goes. Okay, another. That's ten. If I kill him, I don't need. Yeah, I, I could I could take this to heal up, or I can hope that I kill him. Let's take a risk that we kill him. Ah, uh, Grace, come on! And you can't fight him. Uh, you will, Evans. You will heal. You have ten. You can do a burst. It's only seven. Yeah, I will take that risk. Two misses, and one Grace. That is awful okay crumbs you will try and hear help that is good you have seven you will walk up in front of evans here and you will try and 
Uh, only three. Well, we did some damage there. Well, hopefully the spitters will go for crumbs instead of Evans. And that could save our lives. Okay, Jed, you have three shots. Please kill him. Come on, you're better than that. And final shot. Yes. Okay, that's a good one. You need to heal. And then you start... You have two shots. You only have eight. So let's do one of these. And then we change this one. And you do one of that. And you missed. Evans. Don't we have any healing things left? No, I guess not. Yeah, let's go for a burst here. Ooh, one tiny left. Yeah, I think you are standing. Should I move there? I don't want them to spit on any of you. No, let's leave it to there. Yeah, they attack. Ah, ooh, that was that was so close. Okay, you have 15. So if you go there, you can take two shots. Uh, if you had any bullets. So I want reload. Four. You have this though. And we don't need to do a double. So let's do one shot there. And let's do one shot there. And then you can do reload. I don't think you will survive the next one. You have 11. Let's walk there. You have seven. Oh, good. Do a single shot. And you missed. Okay, Crumbs, it's up to you. And we got him. Holy crap. Yeah, we were lucky there. So, didn't we have this? Yeah, let's grab this uh, frog brain. What else do we have? We have this corpse. Distortion field, 45 ammo. Long arm of the law, 16 to 18. Let's have a look at that. So I guess that is something for Evans. Uh, Sixteen to eighteen. Yeah, it's stronger there. Yeah, let's reload this one, and you have that. It's yeah, it's it's doing a lot of damage. That is awesome. So do we have anything else here? No. Okay, you, we have to remove some of these here, because you have one, you have none, and give one to you. Let's see, what do we have here? Bioreactor parts. So travel, like, help Carlos, so we'll definitely go back to Carlos, and talk to Mercy. You're gonna steal his key, pay Lionel. No, McNeil, a visit, return to Carlos, deal with the scavs, extract more psycho brains. Okay, that's chapter two. I return to seek. So I think let's. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything else here. And all of these are done. So let's head over here and we go back to Carlos. I guess we have to go. Come on, we're okay. We have to climb as well. What are you doing? Climb? Okay. So let's try again. Climb? Well, is it because I. Let's do that instead. There we go. Everyone is up.
Yeah, and before I forget this, let's reload all our weapons. Because we will end up in a fight pretty soon. That one is reloaded. That one as well. So I guess it was it that way. Okay, we have to go up here first. And then we can go here. Yeah. Yeah, and we can can't go anywhere over here. Uh, so go through. Take the <coughs> elevator back up to living quarters, and then we take this last elevator up to Carlos. I've got the bioreactor parts. Excellent. We'll be back in business in no time. Here's the allergy from our reserves and we're extra for the job well done. It gives you a metal container with, with the allergy and a gas mask. Is there anything else I can do? Sort of helping us clear the way into the habitat. Not much. Smile, Carlos. What do you mean? Hydroponics is sitting between the pit and the habitat. Since only the first zone is habitable, we're locked in here and have no choice but to sell all our algae to the pit. They know it and pay us a third of what we can get for it in the habitat. Why can't you take algae into uh, to the habitat? We have to pay the keepers and that reduce the profit to nothing. The keepers. Don't tell me you've never been to the habitat. The Carlos look at you <laughs> quiz, quizigally. Then shrugs and continues. They call themselves the Brothers Keepers. Made a name for themselves doing escort runs. Then set up a shop in the factory. You don't have to pay them. But you won't last long on your own. The factory is teeming with the raiders. And they're getting bolder by the minute. Even the keepers are struggling to keep them at bay. How can we open the passage to habitat them? The impossible side, Carlos. We need to decontaminate the red zone. But without the right gear, we can't even enter it. We need hazmat, rebreathers, but the only place to get them is the mutant town. They hold them sacred, but maybe you could convince them to part with a couple of masks. And then we have the keepers to consider. If we open a new road into the habitat, we put the keepers out of business. They won't take it well. My people aren't fighters, so if it comes to war, maybe we can make a deal with the keepers. Okay, first we don't have that, so no, never mind then. So, uh, well, let's see. Return to Boone, talk to Mercy, find, yeah, still the key there. Convince McNeil to release the Deacon, you can find him in Camp Town. Some scavengers have claimed one of the towers of it. Okay, this is here. This is there, and you have air purified parts that needs. Okay, so it's time to make a cut here, but I think we're going to head back and finish some of the missions and then we come back here and do the mission that we're going to try and clear out the tower. So thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.